while in St. Martin, I got my first pan lesson from the legendary Clipsonian, the Mighty Dow. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations and I'm coming to you from the Senior Recreational Center in St. Martin. And you know what guys, I'm super excited. You know, I've seen Pan, if you know me, I've been watching Pan for years and years, but I had my first ever Pan lesson. And I gotta say, I'm kinda hooked. I thought it was gonna be hard, it was hard, but it was fun. Learning the notes, struggling with the scales, and I gotta thank one person, someone you may or may not know, the Mighty Dow. How you doing today? I'm fine, man, good. Good to be here with you. I like that this is the first time that you try steel pan and you like it, it's good. Now, the Mighty Dow is a famous Calypsonian in St. Martin. He's been a Calypso champ, but now you do pan. How long have you been playing pan? Since I born, because I was born into the, a pan family. My father, Chester York, he's one, he's not the first person to introduce steel pan to St. Martin, but he's definitely the person responsible for its continuation and preserving it. And in our family, as far as I remember to tell now, if you don't play steel pan, you don't eat. So we, all of us had to play. You know, it was not forced to, but it was just part of, you know. <laughs> and um, that's that's the way I get started and in, into it. Since the age of like seven and eight, and I'm I'm only 16 now, so just a couple of years ago. And <laughs> so that's the way we actually get started. And I have to lot to thank my father for it because when I see what how far we have become, you know, came I think like thank him for for how you say because you know you have a lot of friends you know things some friends go astray some do this some do that but i think being in as a musician and, and particularly in the steel pan class that helped helped us stay stay on a certain path so i thank him for that dealing i, I know he appreciates that and again he, here's your father chester york you yourself mighty Dow, and and we spoke to your son Young Dao before, yeah. <laughs> right? Now, that seems to be the theme in your family, how music is important. So why is it important for you to teach Pan now to this next generation of students? Well, listen, Pan, Steel Pan, I look at it as a Caribbean thing. It was given birth to on the island of Trinidad and Tobago. And if you ask me, if not all of the islands, most of the islands is triggered down in the Caribbean, right? And for us in St. Martin, it is part of our culture because we grew up seeing that. But somewhere along the line, it was getting lost. So I said, this, we have to preserve this art form. So we had to do many years of uh, workshop. Like we would go the, in the month of July when the children are out of school. I remember we went by a school we call Oranje School. We had 200 students who come out to the summer camp, the steel pan camp. And so we was bringing the awareness and uh, the awareness to the authorities to allow us to look, we got to preserve this. And that's where we get started. Then we, we had it, uh, it was implemented in school. So we do it in school, both primary and high school. So, having said that, today we have something like five, 500 to 550 students we, we teach per week. And that's pretty small still because we have something like 7,000 students in St. Martin. So, you know that this is a drop in the bucket. And what we want to preach out there to our people is the consistency and not to take this steel pan art form lightly or just look back like it's okay we have to and even in trinidad you know antigua you have to keep it going on because the outer world united states of america europe you mean canada everybody logging on to this they want to be a pan they want to play pan and then you sometimes you think well we from the caribbean because we here we have it but we have to keep pushing it so i think that was important for me to push the steel pan. And, and though I play other instruments, but steel pan is my first love. And I know they really appreciate that. And again, I really want to thank you for your time. No problem, man. Nice. And happy that you take that steel pan class. We're looking forward for you to being here tomorrow for the summer. Oh, no problem. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching Caribbean Vibrations. You guys are officially panis now.
I don't know about all that. I'm still making mistakes. <laughs> <laughs>